It's just so hard to decide. Like, what were the flavours again? There's chocolate. Mm -hmm. And there's vanilla. Yep. That's it. Oh, it's just hard, you know? For some. I mean, there's just so much choice. You know, like every Sydney film festival, there's so much choice. Jack has over 200 films from 64 countries. There's going to be 26 world premieres. Yeah, I've been to a few Sydney film festivals before. Okay, okay. I mean, you got a bit of an attitude thing going. Is there like a manager around here or Did something? Did you decide which flavour? I haven't even decided which movie to see. This is just an ice cream to eat while I decide which movie to see. I mean, I don't... Which movie are you thinking? Well, I'm interested in Good Luck to You, Leo Grande. Australian director Sophie Hyde is delivering a sparkling comedy about a stern school teacher who's recently widowed and is now looking for some adventure. The school teacher, Nancy, played by Emma Thompson, has a relatively good life in the conventional sense, but good sex is not a part of it. She hires sex worker Leo, Daryl McCormack, and over three liaisons, both are transformed in unexpected ways. I've never had an orgasm. And yes, in fact, if we do this, you will only be the second man I have ever had sex with. Oh, God. Now, Nancy. This is crazy. Nancy. It's terrible. It's wrong. Nancy. Yes? Let's go to bed. OK. Australian director Sophie Hyde will no doubt deliver a gem. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, oh, my... You are very good at speaking about films. Thank you. should, you. like, do that for a living or something. Here, let me try. Seems easy. I'm very excited to see the documentary Navalny. It was filmed in secret about Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny, who was poisoned with a nerve agent. It won the Audience Award at Sundance and it looks riveting. I was banned from everything and blacklisted. But as I became more and more famous, I was totally sure that it will be problematic for them to kill me. Yeah, that was good. Um, There's also the documentary Fire of Love a spectacular true story of a pair of unconventional French scientists with two obsessions, volcanoes and each other. It was the award winner at Sundance and it follows Cartier and Maurice, who've traveled the world following explosions despite the obvious dangers. The couple shot thousands of hours of spectacular and literally red hot 16 millimeter footage of the explosions and lava that has captivated them for decades. Director Sara Dosa has used their footage to tell their tale and the result looks like an incredibly exciting documentary. I can't wait. It's good that you work in a cinema, you know, like new films and stuff. Let me have a go. There's also Fire Island, a queer rom-com inspired by Pride and Prejudice that follows a close-knit group of friends heading to the Pines. It stars SNL's Bowen Yang and is directed by Spa Night's Andrew Arm. <laughs> I can't believe you talked me into this again. I come here, I just feel terminally alone. Oh, are you all right? It's fine, it happens all the time. Do you want some whiskey? It would help with your knees. You can trust me, I'm a doctor. How's that? Not bad. And then there's Blaze. Acclaimed Australian artist Del Catherine Barton makes her stunning feature debut, combining live action, puppetry and animation, starring Simon Baker, Yale Stone and Julia Savage. There's also You Won't Be Alone, which is Australian director Goran Stalewski's debut about a young shape-shifting witch who is trying to understand what it means to be human. His shorts have previously won awards at Sydney Film Festival. Five stars. Aw, oh, thank you. I mean, it's all very exciting, you know. We go see directors, go to Q&A sessions, we could go to a party. You, you really have a... A lot of sass. Like, where is the manager? Did you decide which flavour? I'm sorry, I just... I just can't pick between... Chocolate? That's it, chocolate. Um, chocolate... Vanilla. Yeah, and, That's um... It. That's it. That's it. Which one would you get? Chocolate. Okay, well, then I'll go vanilla. Why would you ask if you're just going to pick something else? 